The final tool down here is the Quick Mask tool. This allows you to create a mask and then work within that mask. Now, when you create a mask, you are creating an area that is protected. It's kind of like working with a selection, but not exactly the same thing. Let's bring up one of our other images here. Let's just open up something new. Do a change of picture here. Find something which we haven't worked on yet. You'll take the side of the ship right there. There we go. Now, if I bring up the Quick Mask tool, notice how when I go to Quick Mask tool, it changes the colors in here to black and white. And if I then take my paintbrush, I can paint in, and this paints in a mask. And I can use this to mask out areas of my image. I'll just come in here and just kind of paint over the hull of this ship. There we go, and get the little back end section right there. So it's coming in and doing just a quick mask, just like that. I can then use that mask for all kinds of different things. If I come back and click out of quick mask mode, Notice how that creates a selection right in there, just like we did previously. So everything that is not in the masked area is now included in my selection. We can just demonstrate that by grabbing the paintbrush. And let's just paint around like this. And you can see there how that quick mask that we did actually is being used as a selection, or really as a protection, rather, to protect part of you part of the illustration let's just back out of this I'll step backwards here and let's go back into the quick mask mode there it is now the nice thing about the quick mask mode in making a selection is that we can make adjustments on this you can see up here I went a little little wide on the top a little wide right there now if I paint with black it paints in the mask if I paint with white it subtracts from the mask so I'm gonna click sort of white and I'll just kind of come down the edge here and right up along that edge right there. So I can clean up the edge of my mask. Maybe I want to have that little bit here, a little bit of rope in the mask. I'm going to bring my brush size down. That's just about right, actually. Pretty good guess. Let's go back to the black color because that adds to the mask. And I'll just go right there and just get that rope. And I can use this smaller brush here for kind of adding in just a little bit more. So if you like to create selections by using a painting method, this is the way you would do it. And just come in and then paint, paint in with black and paint in with white. Click off and this then sets back in that selection just like that. So there you go. That is the quick mask or tool right down here allowing you to edit or create a mask in what's called quick mask mode.